Deladon. Well, Cheyenne Parker knocked in this three, and then it was on the way back. But there was some verbiage. She was like, give me that foul call. And the officials didn't like that. 47-45, dream lead. There's Sykes. Cross match there. Cloud for three. Doesn't get the bounce. Hines Allen collects the offensive board. Della Dunn rises. Doesn't go. Hines Allen takes it away again. And Sykes will retreat it. Here's Hines Allen. Goes to Della Dunn, but taken away by Howard. Howard pushing. Howard calls her own number. Goes right at Atkins. And they're going to get a blocking foul called on Ariel Atkins. Ariel Atkins tried to get established, tried to stay vertical, but it was just a beat too late to contest that shot by Ryan Howard. It was almost like she needed to get her left shoulder just over an inch more to be fully parallel to Howard, which is what is deemed full establishment as a defender. Haley Jones checking in for the Dream. Shatori Walker Kimbrough for the Mystics. Washington just sitting one or two possessions out of taking control of this game on the scoreboard. You just need to continue to chop, continue to grind it out on the defensive end. 12 points in the ball game now for Ryan Howard. Here's Walker Kimbrough over to Deladon. 10 on the shot clock. Deladon. It's caught. Here's Sykes now. Six seconds. Back over to Deladon. Off the pump fake. Four seconds. Hangs. Doesn't go. Trying to chase her own rebound down, but Billings collects. And Deladon has been disruptive as Washington tries for those DHOs. A dribble handoff and then a wall screen. Parker going to Billings, who slipped through the paint, but a whistle and a foul as Monique Billings will head to the free throw line. Shatoy Walker Kimber whistled for it. Shatoy Walker Kimber was trying to get there in time to force a jump ball. That didn't happen. Billings gets the first, and Detective Hank Voigt and his intelligence unit take on the Windy City's most heinous crimes in Chicago PD, airing all day Thursdays on iron. Billings, uh, an 82% shooter from the line, had her second double-double of the season, the 11th of her career in the last game, 15 points and 14 massive rebounds. And as I said in the first half, our girl, the China Robinson, said it was the Mo Show. <laughs> And I told Monique Billings I was going to say that again because I love that. She was going to work. And Tanisha Wright, head coach for Atlanta, said, hey, she's able to do that at all times, but she's been tremendously consistent. Sykes pull up jumper, get that to go even with Gray in her face. And that was his own look there by Atlanta, 2-3. And Washington did a good job of getting to the second side and attacking. 14 in the ball game for Sykes, seven of them in this quarter. Here's Parker sizing up Egbo, goes right at her. Uh, doesn't get that to go as Hopkins controls the rebound. That's a tough take by Parker, though. Cloud going baseline, comes out to Hopkins. Walker Kimbrough trying to slip behind the defense, taken away by the Dream. Up the floor, Haley Jones has it taken away by Sykes. Super slim, that's what they call her here in D.C. Sykes attacking, snaking her <laughs> way through the rim. A big time bucket by Sykes. Just what D.C. ordered on fan appreciation night here. Parker down low, doesn't go. Parker looking for the call, has to be careful. She picked up that first technical earlier this quarter. Sykes off the cross. Momentum right now favoring the Washington Mystics. Atlanta seeming to be staying in their zone. Here's Sykes for three. And the lead. 
Brittany Sykes gives the Mystics their first lead since it was 8-7. And a Tanisha Wright timeout. And Brittany Sykes has 12 in this quarter, Christy. Brittany Sykes getting it done for the Washington Mystics. 12 of her 19 points have come in this quarter, and she has been lightning quick on defense, and it has turned into quality offense. The Washington Mystics now with their first lead in a long time. You're watching the Friday night WNBA Spotlight presented by State Farm. You go back to that first half, Christy. Just seven points on three of ten shooting in the third quarter alone. She is five of six for 12 points and has the last seven for the Mystics. Yeah, I mean, she's been amazing. And you'd love to see her energy remain consistent, but when Washington needed a boost, she's been that boost giver of energy on both sides of the floor. And Alicia Gray answers that and ties it with Sykes, who at one point was a 12-9 advantage. Ariana, you were listening into both huddles. That's right, Megan, being a little sneaky during that last time out. Head coach Eric Tebow telling the Mystics, we have to keep them off the boards. That's the one area that he feels like Atlanta is just dominating for the Mystics on the glass. And for Atlanta, Coach Wright telling her team to just calm down, take a deep breath, get back to who they are defensively because it looks like the Mystics are getting them out of character. Last 10 for the Mystics. Now with Sykes. Brittany Sykes has been tremendously amazing. A contested three ball from the corner right there. Ice water in your veins. Yes, ma'am. Slim coming up huge for the Mystics. That's her fourth triple of the evening. Four of nine for 22 points now. Brittany Sykes doing her best to be the driver of the energy bus for her squad. But Atlanta has something to say about that as Billings heads back to the line. And right now, Sykes outscoring Atlanta in this quarter by herself. 15-13 with Billings at the line for her second attempt. Phenomenal. And what a great addition Sykes has been. I mean, she could be up for most improved as well as defensive player of the year, as well as all league. Even though those all league and teams all league. are playable. Yeah, I mean, it's playable teams, the first and second team for the WNBA this year. It makes it difficult, most importantly for guards. Cloud attacking will head to the free throw line as they get Danielle Robinson with the foul. Danielle Robinson, a staunch defender herself, multiple times has earned defensive team honors in the WNBA over the course of her career. At that time, just a little bit too late. Trying to get her first point of the ball game, but those 12 assists have played into the 21 made field goals for the Mystics. Listen, Natasha Cloud will take those 12 assists all day and twice on Sunday. She just wants her team to win. And yes, she wants to score, of course, if that helps the team win. But those 12 assists and the way that she has been the conductor and organizer on the offensive end for the Mystics, that has been priceless. Cloud, also another player who could be up for all defense in the WNBA this season. Gray doesn't get that to go as Sykes will let it go out of bounds. 2.37 to play here in the third quarter. A one-point ball game between the Dream and the Mystics. This one has so far lived up to the height coming into it. Well, you're looking at two teams that are right next to each other in the standings. The playoffs begin next week. Both teams just have one game remaining on Sunday. Sykes and, or excuse me, Hillman and Billings running into each other off of the Sykes miss there. Seemed to be okay. Well, Nuz Hillman, a grad from Michigan, Jordan Poole showed that he was.